Good morning, Gallia. Today we're going to jump in to how to play uh, Star Atlas Sage Labs. I know many of you guys have already gotten started, but there are still quite a few of you who have yet to play. I also know that um, there are more and more people coming into the Star Atlas ecosystem every day, so I wanted to make this video for you guys, help you all to get started. Now, before we jump into our game tab, um, I do want to go over like a few quick get started um, lists. Now, I will put this list down in the description, but let's just go over it real fast for people brand new to start Atlas. This also might help some of you um, get like reorganized if you need to go through that process. But number one is I like to have my own browser for everything Star Atlas, and I don't put anything else on it. This could also be a browser profile. You can do this on Chrome by uh, clicking your picture up at the top right and adding a profile. I don't know, I don't think it adds any extra safety, maybe it does, but I like it like really nice and clean um, for my Star Atlas gaming. Number two, Star Atlas is on the Solana blockchain, so you will need a Solana wallet I personally use Soulflare. I love it. Um, there's also a bunch of Phantom lovers out there. I do have a um, profile with Phantom as well. Now, if you want to use Ledger, uh, there's no auto approve right now function. They're working on um, something like that for Star Atlas. However, yeah, but since this is a game, there's gonna be a lot of approving transactions is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so yeah. I like using a hot wallet for Sage Labs, but I understand um, the safety measure as well. And we'll likely use Ledger once that feature comes out. All right, now this third part is just putting the links into that Star Atlas browser that you created um, and making tabs. So it's just all nice and neat, <laughs> set up, ready to go for you. The first link I like is play.staratlas.com. Dot com. Now, I will have that link down in the description as well as the others I'm about to talk about. However, the play.staratlas.com one is my personal referral link. So if you choose to click that one, you will get 10% off your primary, and that means specifically sold by Star Atlas, the primary sales on the Star Atlas marketplace. Uh, it also does help out the channel, full disclosure. Um, so that is a great way to support me if you love my content. Link number two will actually just be the Sage Labs game. So you can go ahead, click that, add it uh, as a tab to your browser. Now I will have a few other links for you guys, uh, but they're not super important to playing Sage. Number one is to the Never Alone campaign, uh, which is kind of a social campaign in Star Atlas where you can um, earn rewards. Uh, number two is a ship price sheet. It's awesome. By Aphia. I'll just put a little chunk of useful links down there for Star Atlas, all that I use myself. So feel free to check them out. Jumping over here, this is actually my uh, stream <laughs> setup right now. Uh, we're going to just dive into the Sage Labs gameplay. That's why we're here. Um, at some point, I will be making a larger guide because um, you'll need to you know, get some Solana, get some Atlas. Uh, you probably have picked up a Star Atlas ship because you will need one uh, to play the game. Again, the referral link gives you 10% uh, off the primary sales on that. However, there are some great prices on secondary um, that may be more beneficial at this point in time. Um, save you some money. <laughs> but now it's time to jump into the game. When you first click that link in the description, you'll come to labs.staratlas.com. Um, so again, this is the basic level, right? The basic UI. And we're going to build upon it in future releases. There are web GL assets that are going to be added. And there's combat that's going to be added. Right now we can mine, craft, scan for SDUs, and kind of also transport and travel between um, star systems. We're going to launch the game here. Connect your wallet. This is your Phantom or your Soul Flare. Um, I'll be connecting my Soul Flare here, and we just hit Connect. You guys won't see it, but there is a pop-up for approval. We're going to connect to that with our brand new wallet. Um, I just created one for this video, and we get to create a character. So we're gonna click that. 
Um, <clears throat> now, to begin, you'll want to choose your alliance faction, right? And give our character a name. So this is fun. Um, you will probably have gone through a similar process already over on play.staratlas.com when you get signed up and buy your ship. Um, it'll have you create a faction. You can choose the same or a different one for this game because it's really tied to your character. So that's cool. Um, so we have Mud, Oni, and Ooster. Mud is the human um, faction. Oni is a consortium of alien species. And then Ustar are sentient androids. Um, they each have benefits. Uh, we won't get into those today since we're really focused on just getting started. Um, let's play as an Ustar. This is the only uh, faction I haven't created yet. So great opportunity. Um, now Ustars have like special naming systems that you do not have to follow. Um, let's go with how. <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> Create character. Um, again, it'll have you approve here. They're working on auto approve. I think both Phantom and Soul Flare have auto approve for Star Atlas. Cool. So we're getting brought into the game here. And as you can see at the top, we have Hal, our character. Um, and then we also have a thing called Atlas Prime, and it's enabled. This means that the Solana fees, since we're on the Solana blockchain, that would usually be taken out, we can actually pay those in Atlas instead of Solana. However, there is a 15% markup. So if you want to, uh, if you already have the Solana and want to save that money, um, you can keep it, you can keep it off. But we'll, we'll have it going for now. Welcome to Gallia. This is your homepage. Gal Gallia is the universe of Star Atlas. We have three big zones based on your faction. Over on the left here, we have the Oni. Right is Ooster, where we are currently. And at the bottom is Mud. Over on the left here, it has a welcome how, your galaxy ID. It'll list 51 sectors. So that's all of these yellow dots here that we can travel to. And to select a sector, we can start, we have to start at the Central Space Station. Now, the Central Space Station is where we bring in assets from our wallet or take assets out from the game to our wallet. Your faction Central Space Station is the only place you can do that. Also, uh, something that is super helpful that I get a lot of questions about uh, on the live stream and also confused me when I first started this sector should actually be called star systems um, because as we will see here there are like let's just check it out i'll just show you guys um so we're going to navigate to sector here eventually this sector the pieces of the sector such as the star base um any planets any asteroids will be separate but for the very start of sage labs they're together in one place and you'll see that here by if we went over to planets You'll see all these different planets, or you'll see an asteroid belt, like and and these coordinates. When I first jumped into the game, I thought like, oh, I had to travel to these places to mine. Um, but that's not true. You're you're at one location. We'll get into that later. I don't want to like throw too much at you. <laughs> there is a lot to understand, and I'll be honest. Like the first day, first day or two, it's a little hard to navigate. Um, I'm sure they'll make it more fluid here as we go on, but it just take some time. I've spent a few hours in the game now, so I'm able to click all over. So it gets better. Don't be, <laughs> don't be discouraged. Don't give up. I haven't seen this pop up actually before, but it says ready to play. Go to your starbase or visit the marketplace. This is the play.star atlas uh, link that I gave you in the description uh, to pick up your ships. But I'm so glad they have this welcome screen. This is really cool to see, um, but we'll, we'll ignore that for now. Down here is where we're going to see our fleets once we bring them in, right? So we have our welcome. You can see the sectors. Number two, you can select a sector to go to. And then number three, once we create our fleets, you'll see them down there. So if you ever have trouble finding where you are, come back to this home screen. And I think it's cut off right now, but right next to the Sage Labs is a Sage Labs logo. You just have to click the logo and it'll bring you back to this screen. So let's trans 
navigate to our Ooster Central Space Station so we can bring in some assets to the game. All right, once we get to our uh, star base here, we have to deposit withdraw ships. We have a star base hangar, star base crafting workshop. This is where you're going to do your crafting, my inventory, and star base metadata. Now, I actually kind of wish my inventory was a little higher because it is where you bring in your resources to the game. Um, but I understand why they went with ships first, um, since this is the first time we'll actually be playing with our Star Atlas ship assets. So let's bring in some ships to the game and then we'll get going. I have three Pierce X4 in our wallet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that there. Amount to transfer, three. And then we're going to just click deposit to Starbase. Now, if we want to get our ships out and back to our wallet, it's the same process, except you're going to click the left one, withdraw from Starbase here. Boom. All right. Now we have ships inside of Sage Labs, guys. So the next thing to do is form a fleet. Now, we did bring in three X4s. So what I'm actually going to do uh, for the sake of the video is form a fleet based on each ta uh, action that we can take in the game. So we're going to have a scanning fleet, which is we go around and scan for SDUs, which are scanning data units, and they're used in recipes. Number two is going to be a mining fleet. And the third one, actually, we're not going to form a fleet with. We're going to leave that ship in the star base so that we can craft with it. So you cannot actually craft with ships that are part of a fleet. You just have to import them to the central uh, space station um, and have them there because they add to a crew count. Now, one thing I have to preface is if you have many ships and you're going out into the different sectors, a fourth possible option um, for a fleet would be a transport fleet. So while ships are out there mining, you have them bringing resources from um, a starbase back to your central space station. So you can go in and out of the game or just craft there. Um, there's a lot of strategies out there, a lot of logistics you have to think about. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. All right, we're going to just make our three feet fleets. So I'm going to just name them by their job. So we'll have scanning for this first one. I'm going to highlight the Pier 6-4. Amount to add one. And boom, there we go. We have a scanning fleet here. I want to just go ahead real fast and do the same for mining. Go up here, mining, select one, form new fleet. All right, now we have two fleets created. We're going to leave the third ship off. That's going to be our mining ship. That is not the best strategy, but it's a great example for the things you can do in the game. Um, this is all just an example. But as we see here, we now have ships without fuel, without ammo, without anything in their cargo holds. So we need to bring resources into the game. And we're going to do that by going over to my inventory. Now, if you haven't played Star Atlas yet, these resources are available over on the Star Atlas marketplace um, to pick up. And then we're going to import them from the wallet into Sage Labs. I'm going to bring in 10,000 of each of these um, and get our fleets up and running. I don't think we actually need this full amount. Uh, we only have two X4s, but why not show you guys, right? Um, so we've selected our amounts that we want to bring in, and then we can import from wallet. Again, similar to the ships, if you want to take the resources out from the game Back into your wallet, you're going to just do export to wallet. In addition, if you want to add certain resources to a fleet, right, you're going to you're going to select this and select your fleet that you want to transfer resources to. However, we do need them in game before you can do that. So let's go ahead and just import from wallet. There we go, guys. We now have 10,000 of each resource. These are called R4. Um, in our Starbase. So let's go ahead and select our fleets. We'll get our scanning going here first. Um, and we'll select how much we want to transfer. So our max fuel here is 267. So we're going to go ahead and max that out. Our ammo is 228. 
Now, this is a scanning fleet, so we actually don't need food to do the scanning loop, but we do need toolkits. Every scan will cost some toolkits. So I usually take a like decent chunk with me. I don't know how uh, you guys have planned that out. Uh, leave some suggestions maybe down in the comments. But we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take 150 with us, giving us up to 38 um, percent capacity there, and that'll give us a good amount of scans. We're gonna stay near our central space station, so um, that should work for now. Next, we're gonna select our mining fleet and do the same thing: the 267 on the fuel, 228 in ammunition. And we are going to need some food. I carry around 15% um, to 20%. I don't know what you guys are going to do. Let's just do 60 here to give us that 15%. Now, there comes a lot of strategy here as far as where you're going to be mining. We're going to just be mining at our central space station. Keep things simple for you guys. Um, but you can travel out right, and bring more resources with you in the cargo holds to deposit in star bases so that you can actually scan around there, then go back to the local star base and refuel your ships. So make your moves, plan out your strategy. <laughs> now, if we come back to the star base hangar here, we have our two fleets ready to go um, that we just loaded up. Let's just do a quick review. First, you're going to deposit your ships into the game. Next, you're going to create your fleets. Third, you're going to go over to my inventory and bring in resources from your wallet, transfer them to your starbase, and then transfer those resources to certain fleets. Now we're ready to go play the game. So we're going to actually come over to our fleets, click on them, and undock. Now, this is going to take us away and put us right out into space, uh, right outside our star base in the central space station. So that's undocked mining. We're going to undock as well. We're going to just go up to the top and go home. That's what I like to do. There, there's other places you could have gone there, but we're going to be strict with if you get lost, come back to the home page. Now we get to see our fleets down below here. We have our scanning. We have our mining. They're right outside our um, central space station. This little guy here shows us where the fleets are. So it's awesome to see it on the map. Also, if you do travel, uh, you'll get to see this little cursor moving. So that's, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's basic, right? But soon we'll have uh, our WebGL assets. So we'll actually get to see flying through space, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get started with mining. We'll get our mining in motion while we go out and scan. So we're going to go out to the asset location. Now each of the central space stations actually have hydrogen that you can just mine. So if you don't have a lot of fuel to your ships, you can't travel far, just come mine some hydrogen. You can craft that into fuel, which is super useful. Um, but we're going to go to undock fleets, going to go to our mining, Hit Manage Fleet, and here is where you can move. Um, you can see your cargo, your mining operations, and perform a scan. Now, we don't get to perform a scan here because we didn't put toolkits into our cargo. So that's why that is not uh, selected there. Also, we'll, real quick, if you were going to move, um, this map the right click is your friend. <laughs> if you right click hold, you can actually like scroll around the map there. Also, it, you can drag your little cursor to like zoom out and zoom in. Um, I'll show you the other actions when we get to our scanning fleet. But right now, this is our mining fleet. We're gonna go to mining ops. Um, we get to see that we can mine hydrogen and we're gonna initiate mining. And it should enter um, us into mining hydrogen here, which it does. So that we get to see our available cargo space here is 329. Um, and the amount to mine currently is going up the time as well. 
So we're gonna just let this sit here and mine some hydrogen while we go out and scan. Again, go to the top, return to your dashboard. <laughs> we can see that uh, our mining operations are currently going on. Scanning, we're gonna go to this asset location uh, and you can perform a scan here, which we are going to do. Again, all your actions are inside of Manage Fleet. We're gonna go ahead and scan and then we're going to move. So we perform a scan here, we're gonna click the accept and we should get a notification in a moment, scan failure. So we didn't find uh, any SDUs out there. That's all right, let's move away from the Starbase and see if that changes anything. So let's just warp down here. Now warp costs more fuel and it's faster. Um, there's also a little area where you can warp. This depends on your ship size as well. The larger ships have a larger area you can warp. You can also use the subwarp, which costs less fuel, but takes a lot more time. And as you see, a bunch, uh, <laughs> a large area opened up that we could subwarp to, right? So we're gonna just click one though. Uh, let's do two spaces and go ahead and warp there. Now let's go check this out. As we see, one of our cursors has already moved a space and we're about to exit here. In route to location, it gives you a cooldown. We have arrived. And as you can see on the map, we're two spaces down. It's cool. I mean, this is all on the blockchain. So it's a huge, huge move for blockchain gaming um, to see like an entire universe on chain. Um, so we're going to go to asset um, location. We're going to exit warp. This is the one step I wish they would take away. Um, when I arrive, I kind of want to just be there but i understand the process um we'll see how that that works here in the future but yeah we're going to exit warp here which we did we're going to manage fleet now we do have a warp cooldown so uh, we have 13 seconds before we could warp again if we wanted to but now we're in a new sector we're going to perform a sector scan um, we'll see if we're successful this time. Yes, we found one SDU. Awesome. I was really hoping that would happen. So let's just discuss scanning here for a second. So we found one SDU. That is because we have one extra, extra small ship in our fleet. Extra, extra small ships have a scan value of one, and it goes up from there. Extra small has two. Um and so on. Now, the max amount of SDUs you can find in this game is 10, okay? Uh, even if you have a, let's say a Titan ship, right? You can still only find 10 SDUs. And this is really a balancing mechanism for uh, the smaller player. Um, you know, bigger ships can mine fa faster, they can mine more. Um, but we don't have those capabilities and we still need some way to um, kind of work our way up in like Gallia fortune, right? So SCUs are probably going to be the thing for you. Um, again, there are some strategies here. Let's say instead of one extra small ship, we had 40 extra small ships, right? Since the max amount of SCUs we can find is 10, we'd actually want to make four fleets with those 40 extra, extra small ships. So it's 10, 10, 10, 10. So we're hitting that max. The math works out perfectly. And we go out and we scan different locations. Once an SDU is found, like we just did, there will not be another SDU appearing in that sector for two minutes. So that's something to keep in mind. Now let's check on our mining operations. See if we can take some hydrogen out and craft some fuel with that hydrogen. So we're going to go over to Manage Fleet again. We're going to look down. We have mined 146. We're going to hit Harvest Resources and stop mining. Now that our mining is done, we're going to actually just go ahead to Manage Fleet, go to Cargo, see that it is in our cargo, um, and we're going to dock our ship so that we can take the hydrogen and put it into our Starbase so that third X4 can start crafting some fuel with it. So we're gonna go over to our hangar here, click our mining fleet, and we have to do a deposit. 
Um, so once you select it, this is the only place where it like puts the max in. <laughs> I wish more places did that. Um, but yeah, we just have to highlight the hydrogen here and transfer cargo to Starbase. Now I just want to show you guys, if we go into my inventory here, we can actually scroll down and see the hydrogen is in here. Perfect. Now all we have to do to craft is go to Starbase Crafting Workshop. We'll see like all the recipes that we can craft here on the left. We're gonna find fuel because that's the one that takes hydrogen. So we're gonna put 50 here. Um, and we're gonna assign a crew. Of course, we only have one crew because we have just the X4, which has a crew member of one. <laughs> So that's how that works. If you have larger ships, you'll see uh, more crew here. Or if you have a higher quantity of ships sitting here, you'll also see a uh, higher crew to craft with. So yeah, we're going to make 150 hydrogen. And we're just going to start here. Boom. Now we're just going to wait. It's actually going to only take a <laughs> few seconds here. And we'll be able to claim our 50 fuel that we crafted with 150 hydrogen. All right, our timer is done. So we're going to just claim the outputs here and then make sure they are in our Starbase after this goes through. Well, there you guys go. Kind of your first hour in Star Atlas Sage Labs. Hope that helped. I know there is a lot of movements in this game, um, a lot of places to go. Uh, so just go in and you know play a good few hours and you'll you'll get the hang of it and of course guys this is just the beginning combat's coming um better graphics are coming but this is fully on the blockchain it is a great moment to come in and play follow the steps in the description uh if you weren't following along and guys the features now if you enjoyed this video hit that like button for me and of course if you're new to star atlas hit that subscribe uh grab that link there get 10 percent off your ships uh your primary sales ships on the marketplace and i'll see you guys next time uh, we need that we need an outro uh gallia awaits peace guys